Good day, everybody. This is Lewis Barson, the Philly pilot in 18 Hotel Yankee. I have a flight for you that I did a couple months ago back in April after dropping a buddy off in Erie, PA, and I was flying back to Wings Field, my home base, Lima Oscar Mike. There was a few storms in the area of Wings, so we just jumped around and danced a little bit. I hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, so we just got our, uh, picked up our clearance. Um, and they're giving us, I don't know if you can see it here, we're going to cross over Delta. Uh, we're going to be on Delta, cross over runway 20, and then turn on Alpha. Nice flight into Erie, Pennsylvania. Caught a little bit of weather, and I just amended my route on the way home. Instead of going south to go up towards the Allentown uh, VOR, a little more north for the cut in. And he cleared us across the runway. We're good to go. I've got my safe taxi up, which is always the important one. And I see Alpha's over here. So that's what we're going to make this turn right here. We actually had a hold short line just about 10 feet in front of us right there, which we would have not been permitted. That would have been a violation and a phone call. So it's good to uh, to pay attention and to keep that safe taxi up at all times uh, so that we uh, don't have any runway incursions, right? And uh, I'm going to turn you back on right when we're ready to go. So talk to you in the air. All right, we just told Tower we're going to be ready to go. One eight hotel Yankee, fly runway heading wind three one zero at nine or runway two four, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway two four, runway heading eight hotel Yankee. All right, so there's our assignment. We got two forty bugged. We're cleared high low. Clear for takeoff. B, my friend Lewis, everything's all set. Wind switched a little bit. We got a little bit of a of a right crosswind correction, but not much. And we've got like, I don't even know, it's like 8,500 feet of runway just coming in. I landed uh, halfway down the runway because the FBO is all the way at the end of the runway. So, here we go. Feet are on the floor. Full power is set. Features on the green, no enunciation. We don't need quite that much correction. Airspeed's alive. Establish the crab angle. Positive rate, clear of all obstacles, a little shake, rattle, and roll. We're going to bring our flaps up. We're looking for about 1,300 for the, for the caps. Landing light can come off. You should hear 600 now. 600. There it is. Our caps are now alive. Reach up, touch them. He's going to tell now. Let's tell us to go over to departure and have a nice day. Hey, Hotel Yankee, contact departure. Good day. Have a good day. Thanks for your help, Hotel Yankee. Good afternoon, departure. Cirrus 18 Hotel Yankee, leaving 1.8 for 7,000 on a runway heading. Cirrus 18. There's one eight Hotel Yankee Buffalo departure radar contact turn left right Bradford. Left left turn direct Bradford eight Hotel Yankee. Return. Climb checklist. Our climb power is set. We're right at the V-bars. Our flaps are up and verified. Our mixture's good. We can bring it back just a little bit here. Engine parameters are looking great. Fuel pump remains on. We're in the cruise checklist. Go back here. Direct Bradford. There's our turn. 
Autopilot flight level climb. There we go. Any bug synced? There we go. It's as easy as pie. For our fire scoreboard, we're direct Bradford, which is confirmed. GPS, autopilot, yaw damper is on, flight level climb at like 130 knots, as you know. It's a nice, comfortable cruise climb. Even though it's nice and cold out, we're getting 1,200 feet a minute right now. 1,200, yes, feet per minute. And it's at 130 knots. There goes our pitot heat is required. Temperature's a little cold. That is on. Out to be 4,000. Bring this back out a little bit. So our big concern is we did a pretty, pretty quick turn to take my buddy out because we've got that. I don't know if you can pick it up in one of these videos, in one of these cameras. We've got that just going over wings now. So we should catch up to it and pass this yellow, but we'll catch a little bit of the uh, the green as we, uh, as we get closer. So I actually changed. They originally had me going down here towards the Philly... Bravo, and then cutting into wings. I changed that to go to the Allentown uh, VOR to go northbound a little bit uh, to come in from a northerly direction, so we can hopefully shoot around and come in on two four down here and maybe uh, and maybe beat this thing. You know, if the weather's bad, I did fill up the tanks in Erie so that we have plenty of fuel, and if I needed to detour anywhere north, west, I got plenty of time and uh, fuel. I mean, we're not even leaned out, and it's showing 33 gallons over destination, and we're going to be way above taps. We'll be way above 60. It'll probably be 70 gallons over destination, something like that. Yeah, probably a little less than that. Probably a bit about uh, 40, 45. Sorry. Looks like you see through the front camera, which is recording, you can see that one cloud layer. It's probably right where we're at at about 5,000. 6,000. We're going up a little Hello, above that. Zero five one Quebec, inner left downwind, so runway two four. We Quebec should be just above that, and then should be. It was a pretty West smooth flight four, at 6,000 coming one, out one, here, one, but at 7,000 should be should be no issue. Um, freezing levels just above that, so I don't think icing will be an issue. Although we do have an outside air temperature right now of one degree, uh, which probably gives us about three degrees over the wings. So cruise checklist, I'll go to in a second, but memory items are boost pump off. Let it gain a little bit of speed as it's picking up right now. Once it starts to be there. There we go. We can bring back the power. About 75%, which should give us around 2,500 RPMs, maybe a little less. 490, there you go. Now we'll bring it back to Lena Peak. So we're pulling this arrow right back. So right to the top of the line. We'll watch our temperatures. We can bring that a little bit more. I like right around 1400, so that should give it to me right now. We're only using 13.7 gallons per hour right now. Our temperatures are good, are great. It's showing that we're going to be just below tabs. Fuel over destinations, 56 gallons. So I've got, at that, at that rate, I've got, what is that? That's uh, I've got four more hours of flying once I'm over top of wings. Not bad. It's a pretty amazing aircraft. Endurance right now is five hours. 30 minutes and we have an hour and 20 minutes so it's exactly right four hours over it to our destination so a lot of information here um, and if you know it and understand it and use it to your advantage it's a great thing I'm actually going to go ahead I stay way ahead I'm going to load my weather frequency we're way out obviously but I got nothing to do right now but talk to you and get ready so I've got my weather loaded uh, for wings and I have my CTAF loaded for wings.
so in case I have to make any early calls. And we are literally just above that cloud layer, so I don't know what's going to happen straight ahead here through the front cap. We should be just cloud surfing there. It looks like it's a little bit below us, but these may be a little higher straight ahead, so... Looks good. Um, and that's it. So we're leveled off. Let's just go through the cruise checklist real quick. Fuel pump is off and verified. Our cruise power is set. We're on Lena Peak, which looks good. Our engine parameters all look good. We can do a quick engine check page right here. Not running the air conditioner, so Alt-1 is low, but everything else is in the green and looks status quo. I've got nothing blinking over here. Let's go back to our checklist. So that's good, engine parameters are good, and the fuel flow and balance is good. We don't have to worry about icing, and we are set up for our descent checklist. So we'll talk to you about uh, back in, oh, probably an hour's time um, as we get closer to this weather, if anything changes, or if we need to detour anyway, okay? Thanks for riding along. November one, hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just requested, you missed a little bit, we had to climb to 9,000 to get through that big layer at 7,000. was a little bumpy. We climbed over most of it, and then we were in and out of uh, some build-ups, a little bit of icing. Uh, November 1-8, Hotel Yankee, contact Wilkes Air Approach, 120.9 or 5. 2095, have a good day, Hotel Yankee. Thousand clear to RNAV GPS runway one zero approach Hazelton Airport. Cross the CD at four thousand clear to RNAV one zero Hazelton eight one six five number. Books for approach Sirius one eight Hotel Yankee out of seven point nine for seven thousand. Sirius one eight Hotel Yankee works for approach for altimeter two nine or nine or seven. Ninety seven. Anyway, so we were we climbed up to 9,000 to go in and out of uh, clouds. They were higher than that. They were probably 10 or 11,000. So a little bit of icing. So we were on and off intermittent with our uh, de-icing fluid. We had plenty, so we used it. We still have an hour and 20 on normal, so it was not an issue. You can see here what we've got going on. I really wanted to drop down before... Um, before we get into getting the busy time by Hazleton and turning it Allentown in towards wings. So I wanted to get down and get below the freezing level, which we're now at. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but we're minus one here, which gives us, by the way, a total air temperature of three degrees. So it's way above freezing, so we don't have to worry about icing. But I didn't want to think about that as we're coming down and coming through what could be some rain showers, and I didn't want it to be ice showers. So, in advance of, uh, of that, I, uh, I requested lower. So they gave us 7,000, which I knew would not be an issue. We'll be in and out of some clouds, but it'll be rain, and it won't be ice, so who cares? And none of it's really, really uh, convective or bad. Uh, this is showing a little bit worse than the Stratus. That's 200 to go. Let's see if I can bring up that for you. So on the Stratus coverage, if I bring up the radar composite here, so there you go. I'll show you that. A little bit of activity around wings, but it's just calling for. Uh, it's calling for uh, right now. It's winds out of 290, broken, 3900, broken again. So there's a couple layers there, and it's light rain, so it's not really a big deal um, to speak of. Here we are up here, as we can see over there. We're going to turn in at Allentown and come straight in. And I'll, I'll either cancel, break it off, or uh, to shoot the uh, visual into runway 24. We're a little. But we went from a very, very clear day on the way out to, as you can see, a, uh, a hazy, overcast, a little bit of a uh, little bit of rain coming in. It just moved in from the uh, from the southwest on there so and I think that's going to stay with us I think there's yeah there's some good weather coming in supposed to go down to the Chesapeake tomorrow but I don't know how long how good that's going to look with all this coming in so that one's not going to be the best contact on 24.45 Hotel Yankee see ya all right, so they just changed my route a little bit. Two. 
Downtown Approach here is 18 Hotel Yankee, 7000 Direct East, Texas. 18 Hotel Yankee, Downtown Approach, Downtown Telemetry 3001, advise ready to copy, uh, slide a minute to your roof. 3001, ready to copy, 8 Hotel Yankee. 8 Hotel Yankee, clear to the wings, airfield, be East Texas VOR, uh, we're joining Victor 2 Niner, Pottstown VOR, Pop Tango Whiskey, direct, maintain 7000. Okay, East Texas and Victor 29 to uh, Papa Tango Whiskey, then direct. 8, ho eight Hotel Yankee, Mention 7000. 8 Hotel Yankee, read back, correct. I'll have a descent for you in the next 10 miles. All right, so let's just throw that in. We throw the Victor Airway in, Victor 29. We bring it up here. We find Pottstown. There it is. We tell it to go there and load it. So now we have it. East Texas, we're heading to. From there, we go on the Victor Highway towards Pottstown. We get off at Pottstown and go to Wings. So, all done. She's going to give us another descent in a little bit. Um, the original plan was to go up to Allentown up here to come in straight and not deal with uh, deal with uh, the weather, but it doesn't look too bad, so I'm not that concerned anyway. Um, and if we get if we get tossed around a little bit, we will. But right now, judging by what we're seeing at Wings, which right now is almost straight down the runway at, at five knots and you've got light rain, so it's not that not big of a deal to go and do this route. Let's see if we're getting the weather right now at Wings. Squelch it. Okay, so we do have the weather at Wings. It is 2-4. There's a bunch of layers there. You got one at 3,000, a broken layer, 3.7, another broken layer, and then overcast at 4,200. So, um, and the winds are just a little crosswind, 260. It's a, this is a little off. It's 260 at 7. So, not, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, should be fine. There's 8 Hotel Yankee, descend and maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, 8 Hotel Yankee. Dialed in. At the vertical speed, 500 feet a minute. Depending on the bumps, we can bring back the power a little bit. We're going to go to Richard Peak right now. We're getting close. All right, everything's on. Be my friend, Lewis. That's good to go. So we've got that done. We can just go through that real quick. Altimeter set. We can adjust it, but we're pretty close. Cabin heat and temperatures are cool, comfortable. Landing light is on. Fuel mixture system. Fuel system's good, and our mixture is good. And I just checked our brake pressure. Seat belts are on. I haven't taken out. Boost pump is on, mixtures are good, so we are pretty much done our descent and our before landing checklist, and we're back back in the saddle here. Okay, clear to uh, scoop, and... Victor and here comes the rainstorm. Was that 157 to Huguenot? Uh, 7 Yankee off at scoop to join Victor 162, and then that's to Huguenot. So we pull the power okay, back a little, because uh, you really want to be around that 140. You want to keep your feet that, dancing. I need you on that airway, so I'm going to uh, give you the amendment here. Uh, Keep your feet copy. on, okay, even though you have a yaw damper. In case to, uh, that thing kicks off, you need to have your uh, you need to have your uh, feet Officer ready to go. Uniform dancing. Papa, join Victor 162, the Huguenot Vior Hotel Uniform Oscar. Then, as previously cleared, maintain 5,000. Two hours ago, there wasn't a cloud in the sky right here. It wasn't until we went out further. This all moved in, in the last two hours. Say it all here. And as you can see, as I showed you before, this is DC right now. It's getting. Series 8 Hotel Yankee, hit. contact Philadelphia Approach, 124.35. Good day. 2435, have a good day, Hotel Yankee. Philly Approach here is 18 Hotel Yankee, 5000 direct Pottstown. Looking to do the uh, RNF 24 in the wings. Here, 18 Hotel Yankee, Roger, you can expect that. We'll expect that. See where he sends me to. 
and there's the TFR. So you literally. Yankee to center, maintain 3,000. You can go direct to Maisie, join the approach. Down to 3,000, direct Maisie, Hotel Yankee. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to do this. Next step 527, turn left heading 180. Left and there we go. Bring back the power a little bit. Your center, one, two, five, point three, two. And we are getting ready to land. So now by activating that Maisie and going direct two, we've activated the approach. We haven't gone into approach mode yet. When we do that when we're cleared for the approach. So right now, the Garmin knows what we're doing. And remember, 2-5 uniform, read back, correct. All right, so what is he going to do, everybody? Five, two, five, uniform As we come over here, one, he's going to tell us, which is the initial approach fix, he's going to say, either after Maisie, as we're turning in, What's he's going to say we're three miles, a couple of miles from Maisie, uh, from Homeway, across Homeway, at or above 2,000, clear from the RNF 2-4 approach into wings, Philly, or he'll give it to us before the initial five, approach fix, four, either way. Can you one take a Fox Show Philly? You can go direct to Quorum for the RNAV runway 15 approach. Okay, direct Quorum for the RNAV runway 158, one take a Fox. There's my switch of the tank, which will bring me in. Just below tabs. 13,000 by Jake. Exeter 767, Philly approach, got timber to 3003. There is uh, TBM traffic about five miles ahead of you at 12. You'll be overtaking them at 13. Okay, very good. Uh, we'll maintain uh, 13, one 3000. And three, Wings zero, is zero, three. right over there. I see, uh... Number 8, 9, or Sierra Kilo, Lox is in center, 127.7. I see Merck. I don't see wings, but I do see Merck. About 10 miles to my side over here. Jet jet six, if I had it, I would, uh... For cancel and jet just six, six, bang the turn and go over to it. Radar contact, climb maintain, 10, 10, 10, 660. Temperature's nice and warm. I can shut off my pedo heat. PPS 2936 Heavy, New York Center 12462. That starts yelling at you at 5 degrees Celsius. 660, turn right direct to Medina. Direct Medina, at 660. Number 18 Hotel Yankee, descend and maintain 2000. Down to 2008 Hotel Yankee. Southwest 3345, descend at 2100, turn left heading 300, join the localizer. 300, join the localizer down to 2100 Southwest, 3345. Exit Jet 660, contact New York Center 133.47. 3347, to jet 660. Number 3 Mike Papa, fly heading at 360. It's going to be a vector for the in trail over Solvark. 360, 3 Mike Papa. Exit 767, descend via the Jake 3 arrival. Send via Jake 3, exit jet 767. Uh, 30, so 30, we're going to turn in, he's going to clear us. Uh, Homway is 2000, that's why he's giving us. As we turn in now, he's going to tell us we're a few miles from Homeway. Turn is now. He's going to give us the call. One eight Hotel Yankee, you're just over Maisie. Cleared on runway two four approach. Clear for the RNF two four approach to Wings Eight Hotel Yankee. We can activate the approach button. That's all we need to do. Um, and again, just anticipating and knowing what he's going to do. So it's all it all makes sense. Activated the approach button. At this point, my autopilot's doing it. I'm just babysitting. Here comes the turn inbound. At this point, we are looking straight. We should be looking straight down the runway. I see Willow Grove straight in front of me, and then Wings is right in front of it. Philly Approach, American 2573, 10,000, we got Foxtrot. American 2573, Philly Approach, Roger, expect runway 27 right. 27 right, Bravo 13. Remember, zero Sierra Foxtrot, the center maintain 7,000. Wait, traffic, right, Sirius 18 Hotel Yankees, 10 miles from the east, we'll be straight in runway 24, wings. Hey, one tank of fox traffic at sight. One tank of fox shot, Roger. And one tank of fox shot, I'll have you lower here in a little bit. Just uh, join the approach at Quorum, and then we'll descend you here shortly. Hey, one tank of fox, Richard. Once we get past this one big black cell here, I'll be able to see it. I know, I see the water tower. 
I think I see the wrong way, but I kind of want to be sure of it. We are at pattern altitude, which is 1,500 feet or below it. So I could cancel uh, and then maintain VFR without an issue. So your, big, your biggest question always is, I do see the runway straight ahead of me in, in sight. So once we get through this cell, I'll cancel. 103 radar contact. The altimeter is a 3003. I'll get back to you with the rest of it. Philly approach Delta 1325 is with you. We're leveling at 10,000. We have Echo. Delta 1325, Philly, expect only 27 right. 27 right, thank you. Philly 8 Hotel Yankee has the field site. We can cancel. 018 Hotel Yankee, Roger Radar services are terminated. Change to advisory frequency is approved. No observed traffic between you and the airport at this time. Okay, thank you. You want me to switch over to 1200? 18 Hotel Yankee, Roger. Thanks for your help. Turn right direct to Wilmington. Wings traffic series is on a six mile final straight in runway two four wings. All right, so we're about to capture right here. Once we do that, we back off on the power, be able to throw in the first nine. We're still a little far out. There's people on downwinds. I don't even, I don't even know. We can actually 86 this here and see what's going on there. We just captured. Glide path is now active, so now we're going to start our descent, and now we back down on the power. This is confirming airborne to wings approaching runway 24 in 4.2 miles. So we can bring in our, next, our first notch of flaps at four mile mark. There we go. Wings traffic series is on a two and a half mile final straight in runway two four wings. Wings Cessna three four zero departing two four close traffic wings. And we got the uh, final traffic in sight. Thanks much. We're going to bring back out the power a little bit right now. We're going to pitch up a little bit, use a little bit of trim just to slow ourselves down, throw in that final notch of flap. Now we can bring in power and pitch down for it. There we go. So the idea is, is once you're configured, you should be able to be hands off, which I am, or a little high, obviously. Um, Five hundred. There we go. Speed looks good. Wings traffic here, short final. Runway two four wings. Now it's babysitting the power. I've got one white, one red. Speed looks good. Maybe a little fast, but we can back that out pretty good. Don't forget, I have a big deposit. Minimum. We're going to continue. We have a pretty big prop here, so when we pull it back it slows down. So now we're going to trim back, which is going to slow us down. Back out some power. Trimming up. So I'm pretty much trimmed out. There's my speeds. Came in nice and good right now. We can go get the runway. Runway's made. About 12 percent of power. Wing of Cessna 340 turning crosswind. Wing. Looking down the runway. Wing traffic check. Uh, and just bleed off the final two four wings. There you go. Flaps up. Wheel it. Center lines for professionals, not me. And we'll roll it out. I don't want to kill the brakes. But that is how you do it. Not too bad. We were trimmed out pretty good there. Wing of Cessna 340 turning downwind 24 wings. A little bit of a wet runway. We don't need to kill the brakes. Well, there you have it, fellow flyers. A nice, fun flight from Erie, PA, back to Wingsfield, Lima, Oscar, Mike. Uh, we had a little bit of everything. We left with nice sunny skies in Erie and came through a little bit of a, uh, 
uh, rain shower. We shot the uh, RNAV approach into wings, and it was a great, uh, great flight. So I hope you guys liked it, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Fly safe.